you were talking. Oh, so my question was, I'm, I just started reading um, uh, this new book about the history of HBO. Um, and I'm just getting into it. It's actually really, really interesting. And we haven't gotten up to our, our list yet, but I would love to hear cool. sort of what it was like uh, starting, start, you were one of the first series there that really uh, kind of launched them into scripted. And I wanted to get, get a, a sense of what that was like when you started there. Well, our, our list, let me go back. It wasn't, you know, we were in the beginning, it wasn't, you know, going back, they had stuff like First and Ten, and they did have other series, not necessarily the news. And they had other series. In fact, they had, you know, Gary Shanda, they had um, uh, Larry Sanders was before that, as was a, uh, a, um, Dream On was before then. So they had series. And then we were the next wave. We, I came, like, I was the first one of the wave, the Albrecht wave which was basically Arliss and then Sex and the City, then The Sopranos and The Wire uh, and Six Feet Under. So we was, I was the next wave there. What it was, it was great. As far as the work, because I had no, I could do anything I wanted. Chris had first put me on stage, by the way, in, when he was the manager of the improv in New York and I started out as a comic. So he was the guy who brought me on stage and I was his go-to guy. So he knew he could trust me, especially financially. The one thing I'm very proud of is, uh, uh, see, my father was a businessman. We, we, I come from a family business. And so I brought in every episode on time and on budget and under budget, which was unheard of in HBO. When you do you ask what the Sopranos and Sex and the City and all those shows went over budget on, or they were going to London. Uh, but uh, it was great fun. Now, Chris was not a sports fan either. Uh, but he said, I don't know sports, but I, I, I think I know it's funny. And then we took made it funny. And then we took it to a different level with the social issues which people forget about until now when they get back to second, because we were doing shows about gay athletes and transgender athletes and, and uh, domestic abuse and steroids and, uh, uh, you know, and, and transgender athletes and alcoholism and, and Alzheimer's. We were doing all the and unwanted pregnancies. And people watch it now and go, wow, you were so ahead of your time. And I always say, well, yeah, I, I, I hate that term. I would have much rather been of my time and have Seinfeld money. But, you know, uh, but yeah, we did, dealt with these issues. And then again, when I watched, and I had not watched them in like 15, 18 years until we had to stream them. And then we had to clear stuff. And, uh, and also I had this, uh, I had this, you know, I picked, I got lucky with one of my, uh, I, one of my cast members, because nobody wanted her, but I wanted this girl called Sandra O oh to play my assistant. And so, um, that turned out pretty well. That's great. Awesome. She's she's, she's done pretty well for herself, that Sandra O. Oh. Yes. Well, she's a good actress. She's Have you seen The Chair? No. Uh, really good. San, Sandra O oh, playing in The Chair. I'm not surprised.